LDL and HDL, they stand for low density lipoprotein and high density lipoprotein. So they're traditionally called good cholesterol, bad cholesterol, LDL being the bad cholesterol, HDL being the good cholesterol. The LDL carries cholesterol from the periphery of your body back to the center, to the liver and your heart, while the HDL carries cholesterol away from the center to your periphery. Now, HDL, even though it's called good cholesterol, if it's very elevated, that's actually an acute phase reactant. So HDL, if it's very elevated, can actually indicate a sign of inflammation, especially as it relates to autoimmunity. So high HDL is not always good. Up to a certain point is good, but everything in the body has a too much and too little. Too much is bad, too little is also bad. There's a range. So you can't just say, oh, it's a good cholesterol. So more the better, right? Not necessarily. So everything in the body is all balanced. So LDL, too little is bad, too high is bad. Same thing with HDL. How high is it a problem? If it's above 80, we look, it's a spectrum and you never hang your hat on one test. You have to compare the whole picture.